G'day, Rachel here from Pinup and Nostalgia Image Creations. Thanks so much for joining me for this week's episode of Quick Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how I do my heat set. So without further ado, let's get started. The tools and products we'll be using today include a curling iron, a regular hairbrush, some large duckbill clips for sectioning, some small pin curl clips, heat protectant spray, Stronghold hairspray and some pomade. I'll start by sectioning my hair, beginning with the crown of the hair, using a duckbill clip to hold that in place. Then I'm going to start at around my temples all the way to the back of the hair for the next section. And again, using another duckbill clip to hold in place. And the last section that I do is from just behind my ears all the way around to the back. And we'll twist and hold in place with another duckbill. So my sections are quite thick as you can see and that's because I have fine hair. If you have thicker hair you might like to do skinnier sections. So Mine are about that wide, you might like to do half as much if you have thicker hair. So with this first layer, I'm going to start by using my heat protectant spray. So just give it a good spray. Make sure the ends are covered. And I'll just use my hairbrush to disperse that through. Break the back into three sections. And I'm just going to start by pulling my hair section up towards the ceiling, opening my curling iron, clamping on, and we just want to pull that hair around and at the same time twisting the curler around. Again, wrap the end around and continue to do so whilst you release a little bit. And at the end, this little end piece should disappear into the curl. And then we just hold it a couple of centimetres away from our scalp so we make sure we don't burn it. And generally I wait about 10 to 15 seconds per section. And to make sure that that curl's ready to be released, just touch the top and if you can feel the warmth of the curling iron coming through the thicker section of your hair, that should be right to go. Okay, so when I release, I go ahead and open the grip slightly and that'll pull the curl apart and open and close very quickly so that it pulls out the side of the curl, but doesn't unravel it. Okay, so you're left with a nice little curl there. And we're going to use our pin curl clips to go ahead and clip it in place. So just gather it all up together, push it in close to the scalp, and in. Okay, so I'm doing 3D curls. You can also lay your curl flat to your hair but I find that the 3D ones give a lot better volume. Alright so we just repeat that and that's the bottom row done. Let's move on to the next row. Okay, and the closer to the face I get, I usually do smaller sections so that they have a better chance of holding their body. So just up to the ceiling, wrap around, roll your iron, gently release some of that hair, continue rolling and wrapping until the end of the hair disappears into the curling iron. And again, repeat all the way around. Now 
Now we move on to the top section. So I'm going to split this in two horizontally. Okay, and I've got a, quite a thin layer at the front and a bit of a thicker layer at the back. Give that a good spray. Brush through. So like I mentioned earlier, we're going to do smaller sections at the top and front of our hair because that's where we want the most body. So this section is about an inch by maybe three quarters of an inch. Another good way of knowing if you've held your section long enough in your curler is if it's too hot to hold on to straight after you've released it from the curler. Lucky last. And one last tip for the curling process is to pin your clip as far forward as possible. So towards the beginning of the curl. So I'm curling backwards. So my clip's going to sit as far forwards as possible underneath the curl there. All right, and I'm not quite happy with how this um, little thin one's sitting. So I'm just going to re-roll that one into two sections because it's just a little bit wide. So wrapping around my two fingers and then rolling all the way down. Okay, so we're going to give it a quick spray all over. Now I'll let those set down until the curls are fully cooled and the hairspray is set. And to protect those curls, I'm just going to be folding a chiffon scarf, just a little corner at the end there, over the back of the head, tying up at the front. Okay, and I'm just going to grab that back section, pull it through, and tie down. So we'll give that 10 minutes or so to let the curls cool down fully and to let the hairspray set. These are the best doggy cookies in the world. Had a quick play with Mo, so we've been sitting for about 15 minutes now. We should be good to go. So we'll undo this little scarf and start pulling out your pin curls from the bottom and work your way up. And try not to unravel them just yet. Leave them as they are. Maggie's just popped in to say hello. Okay, so I'm just running my hands through my hair. So I'll pick up any pins that I missed the first time and also loosen up those curls. And here's how we're looking after pulling the curls apart. So you can do any number of styles from here. A good curl set is the base of any vintage hairstyle. So we can sweep it all up front and back into a poodle do, pin it up there, add a flower in the side. That's really simple and easy. We can go ahead and do victory rolls because the curl is a great base for uh, rolling the hair. Today, I think I'm just going to do a simple brush out using a densely bristled paddle brush. A bit worse for wear, but does the trick. And we're just going to brush gently through the curls so that they start to form. Okay, so you can see that some of the curls have started to form together, which is what we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue brushing and encouraging those curls to sit together nicely. At the ends, I like to grab the section and brush it against my palm so that the curl folds under. And we can do that all the way around at the back here. And at the front, maybe just single out a couple of curls. And when you're happy with how the curls are sitting, we're going to set those down. So I'm going to start off with the, the pomade from Vintage Honey's Parlor. I'm just using uh, the smallest amount. Warm that up between your hands. 
just smooth the top down ever so gently. Okay, and just going through to the back to the first curve. Just a little in the fringe as well. And it's totally fine if your sides are not symmetrical, but if it is really bugging you, you can add a hair flower to one side, or you can use a chiffon scarf. But today, I quite like it just how it is. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found something interesting, helpful, or enjoyable. Please remember to let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next. And until next time, I hope you have a great week and see you then.